Yo, what is cool talk? We're back and in this tutorial I'm going to break down how you can create this insane Polaroid effect and give it some cool looks inside of After Effects. And this effect is actually pretty easy to make, so let's get into it. So right here I have my scene of this Eric DOA music video. And the first step you want to do is select your clip and go to tracker. If you can't find it, you have to press window and then press tracker here. Then it should pop up. And then you want to press track camera. And then this will track for a couple of seconds depending on how long your clip is. So when your tracking is done, you're going to see a lot of different spots on your screen. So what you want to do is go over your clip and find a spot that stays all the way through the clip. Because you can see some of them disappear throughout the clip and some of them pop up. So you want to find one of them that sticks throughout the whole clip. I'll just choose this one and then create a null and a camera. Then the next thing you want to do is go to Google and search up Polaroid PNG and then you're going to find some PNGs like this and then you just want to download them and import them into After Effects. So I just imported my PNG file and the next step is to drag your clip under the PNG like this and then mask it out so that it fits. So right now I have my clip like this and then what you want to do is pre-compose both of these. And your next step is to make this a 3D layer and you do that by pressing this 3D button and then we can mess around with the rotation. Give it some cool look like this and then size it down and then I want to put it over here. What I want to do next is go into the pre-composition and create a new adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, I'm going to drag on my Opium VHS effect, which is from my new Opium preset pack, which you can find down below. And this is just to spice this up a little bit. You don't need to use this effect, but I think it gives a cool look, which enhances the video a little bit more. And if you're interested, you can press the link in the description and use code Opium to get $5 off. And with this pack, you will get 15 different presets, which are all great. And I use them all the time. So if you're interested, go check that out. And after you've done that, you can add a drop shadow just to give this effect a little bit more depth so it doesn't feel so plain and just straight on like you just smacked it onto the clip. And then I want to add on a camera lens blur to the bottom layer just to give it a little bit more depth and more focus on the Polaroid effect than the background. I'll change this to four. And then I want to do the same thing for this other clip. So I'll import one more Polaroid PNG and make it fit and then just mask it out. And pre-compose like I did last time and turn on the 3D layer. And then I'll size it down and rotate it a little bit, but different from the other one. And I'll put it right here and also add a drop shadow to this one. And what I want to do next is actually mess with the rotation. So I'll create a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and then go to the ending. And let's just mess with the orientation a little bit. Just to make it spin over time to give it a little better look so it doesn't look too flat. And I'll do the same thing for both of these. And you don't really have to follow any instructions on this part. You just do whatever looks good for your clip. And for this, and for this Polaroid effect, I will create a new adjustment layer and drag on one of my other Opium presets. And the final step that I made was to add some more effects on the background just to give it this dark look but I won't go into that in this tutorial, but you can watch this other tutorial that I made that should be on the screen right now. And in that tutorial, I go through how I did that effect too. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope you liked the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.